Hello again, this is Ben with another update from Mysterious Space. Uh, this one will be pretty quick. I, I haven't got quite as much done on the weekend because I got a new cat. I have a wonderful new cat who's sitting here with me now. Uh, I, I'm like tempted to, to ramble about the cat, but uh, that can be for another time. Um, but she has taken up a lot of my weekend, so I did not get as much coding done. Uh, but I do have a little a little uh, something something to show off, so let's do that. I have a saved game here. I believe I showed off the upgrade page before. Probably not all of the upgrades, though. Um, so there's there's a couple new ones. If you don't like unexpected alien artifact effects, you can get an upgrade that will reveal them all to you. Uh, you can also get this to uh, make your ship control a little a little tighter. Uh, you'll stop faster. And then there is the the weapon improvements, which uh, I believe I talked about before. But that is not exactly here what I'm what I'm here to show off words. I'm here to show off some new graphic stuff. So this is an ocean planet now. Um, I would like to add a little animated, you know, wave thing on top, uh, but it's a flat surface. And if we go below the surface, we can see all sorts of wonderful uh, new decorations. We've got rocks and seaweed. The rocks are also used uh, for other planets as well. Uh, you know, any, any any planet has rocks. Uh, they're currently all gray, but that'll be trivial to, to change if I want different colored rocks for different biomes. Uh, so the biomes are starting to take on at least an appearance. I mean, you know, f uh, mechanics-wise, there's nothing different. Uh, we have all the same enemies. We have force fields uh, underwater. Uh, and you don't move any differently, even though this is, quote, underwater, end quote. I mean, it just looks underwater. Uh, there's really nothing different going on here. So I don't know if I want to affect your, your speed. Um, underwater that sounds a little annoying uh, and actually there are a couple little differences that I implemented real quick just some low-hanging fruit um, the like actual mechanical difference between the biomes I mean so the tunnels tend to be narrower for the ocean uh, this looks a little weird with rocks in front of seaweed but whatever uh, so the, the, the tunnels are a little thinner a little narrower uh, they don't get as wide on ocean biomes as they do in other biomes, and for desert biomes they can actually get wider than the ones before, so the deserts will be more open. So that will, you know, that will have a subtle effect on gameplay, it's not immediately obvious. Um, I, I would like to have different sorts of monsters appear in different sorts of biomes. That's two uh, seaweeds piled on top of each other. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so different, um, you know, like, I don't know, these swarming things maybe wouldn't be here, or or I would have fish instead, or jellyfish, there could be jellyfish, you know, whatever, I can come up with different things to make the, the biomes a little more interesting, and, and therefore the choices, you know, from the main map, which level do you want to, which planet do you want to go to in this sector, uh, it's a little more important of a choice if the biome is actually diff uh, different. Um, I, there, I don't think I have... I don't. I don't feel like they're necessarily different enough that different equipment might be appropriate, which would be ideal. Like I think it'd be great if you're like, oh, an ocean biome. I totally want, you know, narrower hallways. I want rubberized. You know, is is going to be more significant there or something like that. Um, which you know it's possible. Maybe rubberized is better for a tighter environment. That probably is true. Uh, but it would be nice if there were some stronger. You know, oh my God, a lot of falling guys. Uh, some stronger kind of. I don't know. Strat strategic sorts of decisions possible for the different biomes. Uh, so let me get out of here and show you another biome with some different background graphics and everything. Oh, it's ocean again! Well, you know what? There's an easy solution to that. We will start a new game. And... Do, 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 do. How's it going? And uh, get something different. Red again. Carrot. Good. Not ocean. So here's a, uh, a brown world. Uh, and this has a different background. And there's a third background as well that looks like a, a rock. I mean, this was intended to look like rocks. Uh, but there's one that more looks like stones with uh, breaks between them. You know, like like bricks have that in-between stuff, except this is not bricks, because that would be silly. Uh, th the other background that isn't here. You know what I mean. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, this is going to end up being, like, the prettiness update, I think. Uh, and, and I'll see if there are any more easy things I can do to make the biomes a little more distinct, but I'm mostly going to be focusing on graphics. I would like to get in some trees for the for the forest planets, which are the green ones, uh, and this is supposed to be, I think, a barren uh, planet, this this one with the brown, brown, brown. Uh, I don't know what else would go in a barren planet, maybe little sticky plants or something, um, you know, like, like dead, dead-looking bushes or something. Um, 
goodness, that's a lot of rocks. So anyway, that's that's it. That's what I've got to show off. Uh, you know, again, again, this is more of a uh, right. I can't quit because stuff. Uh, so this is more of an appearance sort of update and less of a uh, functional. You know, more con. I mean, it's content, but it's a different, a different sort, right? So still, I, it's good. I think it's great to have this kind of stuff. Uh, and I'll definitely be looking to add. You know, continue on this on this these sorts of things as updates come. I'm running out of words. I can't even speak anymore. Uh, and, you know, I don't know that you guys super care about the little change log, but here it is. I guess the only other thing I would say is that I did fix some things um, with that. The little yellow guy who flies across the screen, I believe he was in the previous version, 0.2.2. He would do a weird thing where once he went off the screen, he basically never came back on. So I fixed that, and I noticed that, that he was actually really mean, so I reduced the speed a little. But And, and I, as usual, I'll try to get another enemy, I feel like. Uh, I really want to get one enemy per update just to make sure that I continue adding enemies. So I will come up with something else to add. Anyway, I will stop rambling. I'm done. Thanks again for watching, and I will hopefully have... Yeah, when will I have an update for you guys to download? <sighs> I don't know at this point. I honestly don't know, because again, I didn't get much on the weekend. Anyway, thank you, thank you, and goodbye.